Hey Cancers, welcome to your love reading for July 1st to the 11th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, Cancers, I had to start with you. How could I not start with you? It's your birthday season, so happy birthday. Um, also, we have, of course, the infamous eclipse, new moon, and Cancer on the 2nd of July. Cancers, you should already be feeling it. We should all already be feeling it, and it's going to be affecting cardinal signs. I will be talking a lot more about that this Sunday. Go ahead and tune into that. Cancer. <sighs> Tuning into your energy. Oh, sorry. Meditating on your energy. There's a lot of heart chakra stuff going on. And I'm not surprised because you are cancer and we are, like I said, experiencing this eclipse energy. There's a lot of stuff going on in your heart chakra. It's like it's actually making my chest feel very heavy. OK, <sighs> make sure you're just like working on it, making sure it's balanced, making sure that you're not holding anything back or that you're not repressing anything. Because cancer, as we all know, when you go in your crab shell, you have a tendency to not speak up because you're just trying to avoid, right? Because you don't want to deal with the conflict, but you got to get this stuff off your chest. Cancers, I was feeling also a lot of family stuff. I know it's been coming across for a lot of people, and I'm not surprised because this new moon is in your sign, which is, you know, you're all about family. You are. You're all about family. You're all about hearth, home, that sort of energy. And this is more so about, I was getting a lot of like control, authority issues, insecurity issues around family. Um sorry I just did my hair and it's like it's not quite dry anyway um a lot of authoritative issues are going to be coming up around family okay and I do feel a lot of father energy for some of you so just make sure that you're working through your parental issues we've all we've all got parental issues there's no one in the world who does not have a parental issue just make sure that you're really working through that okay um, I was getting some other interesting stuff though, Cancer. Like, I know it's your birthday season, and you like, you know, when you're a kid and you have those, like, I don't know what they're called, they're like the little long whistle things, and they make like that duck noise almost. I actually heard that noise, and I was like, all right, it is your birthday season, get your party on, right? But, Cancers, then I actually saw that it's like, yes, you're enjoying your birthday month, you should, totally should, but I do feel a little bit of avoidance, and I'm just being honest here. We all got to be honest, right? There's a little bit of avoidance. So you're kind of throwing yourself into fun and positive energy. And again, it's you don't want to deal with bullshit. And I totally understand. You don't want to deal with anything unpleasant during this time. But there's a lot of dark stuff that you have your back turned to right now. And I was seeing it. It's like a lot of dark energy. And again, dark, dark energy is not necessarily bad. But this is like being a you're like ignoring something that needs to be confronted. You're ignoring something that needs to be purged. OK, some of you are just so unaware that there is, um, and I feel like for, again, I feel like this is relating more so to family or your loved ones, your close ones, your social circle, your soul tribe. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background, Cancer. There is a lot of stuff going on in the background. You can feel it, which is why you're avoiding it, which is why you have your back turned to it, okay? Um, just be prepared for all of this eclipse energy that there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs with people and again specifically family because we're dealing with cancer and then towards the end of the month Capricorn and then we have that last new moon on the last day of July actually in Leo which Leo's you know they're not known for family vibrations but Leo's are very much about family people don't realize that but they are because they've got those big hearts so this whole month is about loved ones social circle soul tribe those that are close to us making sure that we're working through our control issues in regards to those people and in regards to family, specifically parental issues, okay, and those that we really love and care about. But Cancer, you have your back turned to something that really needs to be addressed. And I know you know it. <laughs> I know you know it. If you're honest with yourself, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be breakthroughs with parental figures, alive or not. Um, whether that's realizing some truths that can help you heal and to get closer with these people and these energies or to quite the opposite, realize the truth about what you're really dealing with so that you can get yourself away from that energy, right? Just because they're our parents or just because they're a family does not mean we need we need them in our lives, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. Let's get into this because a lot of times it's just a lesson we got to learn. But let's get into the pre-shuffle. We have Queen of Cups, Cancer. <laughs> Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Then we have this interesting line. King of Swords, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. With the Magician, Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine energy. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. And Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. A lot of air energy all around this. Could we deal with the air sign? You could be a gem, Cancer, Cusp, because you guys are adjacent to air, or you could have a lot of air in your chart. Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. So Cancer, 
like I said, it's like you're coming through a lot of you're going through a lot of breakthroughs about the people you love and care about, about your social social circle, even about yourself, but more so a lot of family vibration, like I said. Um, for some of you, this King of Swords is like a parental figure or a relative. That's interesting. I just heard brother. Some of you, this is a father. Some of you, this is a brother. And for those where this is more of a love connection, this is someone that you felt very betrayed by, where there was kind of a rift, there was kind of an ending. You both, I feel like you both are coming to some understanding of, of what you really feel for each other, what your connection really is, and what it really meant, and that it wasn't all bad. That it wasn't all bad. Cancer, you're standing strong in your own power, okay? Really full of love, full of that cancer, yummy healing energy, which is your gift. You have the gift of healing. All, most cancers do. And this is the person that you were dealing with. Someone who is a manifester, someone who's very logical, someone who's about the mind, not necessarily about the heart. Um, where there's been a rift, there's been some pain. For some, there's been even been a bit of betrayal. And finding peace in it. Finding peace, okay? To move on, finally wrapping it up putting it to bed so you don't have to deal with it anymore, right? And with the seven of wands in reverse, it's a letting go of defenses, being vulnerable with each other, being honest with each other, being transparent with each other. Again, whether this is a parental figure, a sibling, or your, you know, someone that you had a romantic um, energy <laughs> with, being completely transparent with each other and not being defensive about it so you can finally heal and just move on into some peaceful time, okay? By the way, at the bottom of the deck, we do have four of swords in reverse, Libra energy, really needing to heal because there's it's just been too draining, too draining energetically for too long, okay? All right, Cancers, now let's really get into your reading. For those who have any questions or curiosities on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below, okay? Especially for my newbies. I've gotten a lot of questions from my newbies um, please, please, please watch that video. It will answer a lot of your questions, okay? All right. Ooh, oh, Cancer. <laughs> please work on your heart chakra. I do not like that heaviness. All right. Mm. Any messages for Cancers? This, they're giving me a download. This is going to be a really uncomfortable time for you. I'm just being honest. It's going to be very uncomfortable, but it's it's going to lead to some amazing stuff for you. And it's going to lead to a lot more energetic space because you're going to clear a lot of shit out. Okay. Um, but it is going to be uncomfortable. So don't go into your crab shell. Just ride it out. Just ride it out. It's going to be okay. Do not go in your crab shell during this time. Okay. Any messages for cancers? Regarding love. July 1st. <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth and clarity. Ace of Swords. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lots of truth coming out because like I said, there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs in realizing who you need to keep in your life moving forward and who you really don't. Who you really don't. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. But it seems like people are dealing with a lot of healing of masculine energies. And when I say that, guys, it's not just about external masculine energies. It's also about your internal masculine energy. Make sure that you are very cognizant of that. Um, just a little personal thing to make it really hit the message home. I spent most of my life, actually, in masculine energy. And I didn't realize this until, like, maybe the last, like, six months or so, that all the healing I was doing... Okay, let me put it this way. For most of my 20s, I did a lot of healing, <laughs> a lot of healing, kind of sitting in dark energy to really heal a lot of my inner feminine. And I didn't realize that till after I was done doing that. Right. Most of my life, I was in masculine energy because my feminine, my inner feminine was so wounded. I couldn't even go there. I literally had to spend years healing my inner feminine. And then I did that. And now it's like now I'm balancing all that masculine feminine energy out but some of you there's definitely some inner masculine healing that you guys need to do okay all right so let's get into this any messages for cancers regarding love july 1st to the 11th any messages for cancers regarding love Ooh. cancers i know you don't want to hear this but i'm i'm already like feeling tears not my like you know external like i'm already feeling tears here and definitely that's feeling in regards to father figure of some sort or parental issue deeply rooted that maybe you knew was a problem for you and that you needed healing with you didn't realize how deeply you needed it though be prepared for some major purging for that during the month of july i feel like there's going to be a confrontation involved in that as well Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. So yeah, this truth is realizing that you don't have as much peace as you think you do. 
you don't have as much peace as you think you do. Any messages for cancers regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? <laughs> Already getting a download again, Cancer. <laughs> Man, I'm really in it tapped into you guys today. Some of you, this masculine energy that may be external to you, this is not for everybody, because like I said, some of you, this is about healing your inner masculine as well. Um, for some of you, this external masculine energy is actually a mother, an abrasive, I'm getting abrasive, an abrasive mother. That's going to be for a couple of you, you'll know who you are. I just got a lot of fire energy. They could be Aries, Sag, or Leo. Okay. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Any messages for cancer regarding love, July 1st to the 11th? Wow. Cancer, it's a two-card reading. Overall, we have Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire. Ooh, then we got a Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. This is definitely you, definitely you. Again, you're very much in your energy. How could you not be? It's your season. The new moon's also in your sign. How could you not be, right? Uh, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. A lot of water with a lot of air. So like I said, picking up a lot of air energy too. Um, there is someone stepping forward to you, Cancer. This is the overall energy. Someone is stepping forward with love. For some, it's even an apology. And you're going to get some truth and clarity. And like I said, you're going to realize that you don't have as much peace as you thought you did for some of you. Um... Others, it's truth and clarity about a tumultuous time you've been having with a romantic interest or a relative or someone in your soul tribe, okay? All right, so let's get into this Ace of Swords. I can't believe you guys only have two cards. Let's get into the Ace of Swords. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about Ace of Swords. But remember, guys, with eclipses, particularly new moon eclipses, particularly new moon eclipses, they're about getting you on the right path. Plant those seeds of intention, okay? So even if it feels horrible, it's leading you to the right place. You just got to go with the ebb and flow of it. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Cancer regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Cancer regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Cancer, this is going to feel a little bit like a rude awakening. And like I said, because deep down you've known, but you've been avoiding. You've been putting your crab shell around that dark energy because you haven't been wanting to deal with it. So with some of you, it is going to be a rude awakening more so than others. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for Cancer regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Cancer. Regarding love, June 1st to the 11th. Okay, whoever has that abrasive, fiery mother. Oh, her energy is awful. I just, I feel like she's very loud. Oh, I just, oh, I just feel, I almost feel like sometimes Cancer, when you hear her voice, like, you kind of cringe a little. It's like, and I'm not trying to bash this person's character. There's something about them that's very dark and very toxic. I, I, it's giving me the chills. I don't like it. Tell me about Ace of Swords. You don't like it either, apparently. <laughs> Tell me about Ace of Swords for Cancer. I feel like she yells a lot, but doesn't realize she's yelling. Like one of those. One of those that doesn't realize they're yelling all the time. Screeching. Oh my God. Some of you just said screeching. You might have said it to yourself, but some of you definitely said screeching. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Cancer. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. <laughs> wow, this truth, you really don't want this truth, Cancer. I can feel it. Stop messing with my cards. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Cancer. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Swords. All right, so now we have an Emperor in Reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. You're getting truth about an, an emperor individual in your life. Emperor could be a father. Like I said, I was picking up on father energy pretty strong. Uh, could also be a grandfather or someone who runs their own business. Someone who's basically been through it. They could even be a little bit older than you, okay? Some of you where this is like a sibling, a romantic interest, they're definitely the older. 
They're definitely the older, okay? Oh, focus, focus. Okay, there we go. This is also divine masculine energy. This person could run their own business. They could have power, rank. They could be in the military. They could be a CEO, a lawyer, a judge. You get the you get the idea. Someone who holds some power. Someone who's got some resources at their disposal. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Or at least someone who has their own empire. Whatever their own empire is, even if it's a small one, okay? Tell me about Ace of Swords, their own domain. Thank you, domain, domain. Tell me about Ace of Swords. I just saw a lion probably dealing with a Leo. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Overall energy, death. <laughs> death in reverse. Scorpionic energy, transformation and change. Oh, Cancer, don't avoid this. Do not avoid this. Underneath that, we do have this, wow. We have Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy, and then we have Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. This is definitely you coming through. For others, this can also be, again, the parents. The parents, right? The parental issues coming forward. Yes, I mean, this is all about family. <sighs> okay, let's deal with this aggressive mother. And I can already feel the aggravation from the other collective that we're like, that's not my story. Sorry, let's touch on this. And then we'll move forward with the other ones I was picking up on. Cancers, for those of you dealing with um, that toxic mother, again, very fiery energy. Um, with this Six of Pentacles in reverse and Death in reverse, there's been a major kind of avoidance on how unstable this person is. And honestly, I feel like this person likes to wreak havoc. They enjoy it. They like, they like turning things on, on their, on the head. Like they like turning people on their heads. They like causing havoc. They love the drama. They live for the drama. They're kind of just like a walking, like ticking time bomb of like, what, what can I wreak havoc on now? Like, honestly, that's kind of what I get. That's definitely what I get. And with death in reverse, there's been resistance in acknowledging this in order to, to walk away from this and to change this, um, to change this energy in your life. If you are dealing with a person like this, again, you do not have to subject yourself to this. It doesn't matter if they gave birth to you. You don't have to subject yourself to that. It's not healthy for you. It's not. Sorry, I know. I'm like, mama bear is coming out. My Capricorn is showing. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is definitely resistance of that. Uh, this mother figure also is very aware of their own behavior. But like I said, they get a kick out of it, which is why they don't want to change. And I know that's hard for you to swallow, Cancer. But that's just the truth. And, and you're really coming into awareness about it right now. And I think it's really a rude awakening for you. Okay. I'm also getting something about with that mother figure and this father, uh, this father parental figure. Why does it feel so distant? A lot of distance. Could be emotional. It, they could have been, they could have gotten a divorce because it's like distance, distance, distance. They feel really like uh, other sides of the room is kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, other sides of the room. I think this feminine energy demasculated, de emasculated? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Why can't I think of that word? Made this masculine energy feel very emasculated. Thank you. <laughs> really emasculated for my male cancers you could be feeling this way because this person's clearly toxic and like i said they like getting a kick out of drama they like making people feel terrible i hate to say that i hate to say that but that's definitely what i'm feeling all right so let's get away from that energy because like i said we got a lot of other stuff i was picking up on for you guys um for those where this is like a romantic interest um there's definitely imbalance between the emperor and the empress here for those where this is a romantic situation, okay? Things have kind of been, things have really been thrown out of whack. And I'm feeling like it's because the masculine energy is not grounded. Not grounded at all. For some of you, this is your inner masculine versus like an external masculine energy, okay? So just keep that in mind. For some of you, this is realizing the, the healing of the inner masculine that you have to do and how much it's been wreaking havoc on, on your own life or yourself and that you haven't realized it till now. But for those where this is an external romantic interest, a masculine energy, and let's say you are a more feminine energy, um, there is a bit of a returning energy I'm feeling in order to balance out the scales here. But the feminine energy is very grounded, very strong, very balanced. And I'm also getting a lot of healing has already taken place with this feminine energy. Yeah. But the masculine energy feels a little bit at a loss. And I am feeling a lot in the heart space. <sighs> wow, a lot of tugging on my actual heart is actually what it's feeling like. 
I'm getting a lot of remorse. I'm getting a lot of guilt. I'm also getting a lot of shame. Someone doesn't, God, I hate to say this, but my masculine energies who are actually biologically male, who may be resonating with this, um, you don't feel like a man. I think that's more about your own internal issues of 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 not having healthy masculine. You know, what's the word? What's the what's the term everyone's using? Toxic masculinity or just not or like that complex, you know, it's like that gets pushed on males in society where it's like you're not man enough if you're not doing this and you need to be man. Men don't do this. Men do that. Man, man, man. Right. Um, and that's led you to have a little bit of a complex here of not feeling like a man so i feel like for my masculine energies who this is resonating with or my feminine energies who know that their external masculine energy is struggles with that um it's like you try to cover it you try to cover it with other stuff you know it's like i don't feel like a man so i need to do things to feel like a man even if it's very ingenuous and that's no shade guys we all go through shit we all go through shit, okay? But that's what I'm getting. Let's move on. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> let's move on. Wow, I got a lot there. Uh, let's move on to the Six of Swords in reverse, okay? <laughs> oh, can't say you're already wearing me out. You're the first read of the day. Don't wear me out just yet. Uh, let's, you know, I've been feeling the legacy today. Let's do legacy for the Six of Swords in reverse. Like I said, overall energy cancer for the first third of July, it's about coming forward with truth and emotion and transparency, okay? Even if you're just confronting yourself. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. For cancer, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I'm getting a big theme here of like that this is probably going to be resonating for people who really aren't used to showing emotion or usually attract people or have to deal with people who don't show as much as emotion as, emotion as they do, okay? Um, just a little hint for some of you who need to understand if it's resonating or not. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Like, I feel like for, sorry, I'm being dragged into it again. Uh, for those of you where this is all family or dealing with your parental issues or even like your siblings or your close family unit, it's like, no, there was no I love you. It's like that wasn't ever said. There was no I love you. That was, yeah, it's like, and if it was said, it just felt weird or just didn't feel genuine. Okay. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. For Cancer, regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse for Cancer, regarding love. I can't believe how many downloads I'm getting with you, Cancer. I really am. I'm kind of shocked, actually. For my Cancers... Specifically, my cancer, I'm getting actual very specific stuff on this download, guys. My genetically male, biologically male, why can't I talk? My biological male cancers who are dealing with a more, um, who are dealing with a genetic female uh, who is more masculine dominant energy than feminine dominant energy. We all have masculine and feminine, right? But if you're dealing with an actual female, who has a lot more masculine energy and things have been really rough two, two, two last two weeks, two months or two years, or going back to February, um, things are going to be coming to light and you're going to have a lot more clarity about what actually has happened and taken place and things are going to get better for you guys. Okay. Tell me about six of swords in reverse. Okay, star in reverse, Aquarian energy. God, the Aquarian energy here is crazy. Emperor energy. Uh, I'm glad to see the emperor upright here. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divide masculine energy. Two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. There's the clarity. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. And then we have page of swords. Oh, I'm feeling a lot of control, guys. All of a sudden, I'm feeling a bit of control issues here. Tell me about six of swords in reverse for cancer. You guys have so many cards 
Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. Okay, how many Aquarian cards are you guys gonna get? <laughs> Tile of Six of Swords in reverse. Wait, how many of them do you have? Wait a minute. Oh, because oh, I'm counting the pre shuffle too. Okay, there's only like one or two more you guys don't have here. Tile of Six of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, July 1st to the 11th. I don't even think anything is going on in Aquarius right now. Um, overall energy, we have Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. So this has been a bit of a tumultuous time that you've been trying to ignore or tumultuous energy that you've been trying to ignore. You can't ignore it anymore with this Eclipse energy. And you shouldn't because you have to work through it and you're going to work through it. And then you're going to get to exactly where you need to be because this is a new moon Eclipse energy. Okay, but let's get into this. Let's get into this. This emperor has gained some clarity. I feel like there's a little bit of depression with this emperor as well. Just a tid, just a smidgen. That's not gonna be for everybody, just for some. Just for some. Um, gaining clarity as to why they haven't gotten what they've been wanting. They've been wanting something, and this, yeah, I'm getting that control again. They've been wanting something to come through fruition and it hasn't, and they're and now they're understanding why it hasn't, because they've been controlling about it, is really what I'm getting. Am I in focus? Hold on. I think I'm in focus. There we go. Because um, they've been too controlling about it. Okay. And emperors have that tendency. And I only say control because we also have the strength card out here. Um, strength in reverse. Oh, no, 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 no. Strength in reverse with the page of swords. Okay. Page of swords is a messenger of truth. It is also a spying card for most people. I usually like it when I see the queen of swords out to confirm spying um, or watching. But that's exactly what this is. The truth is, you can't control everything. Truth is, control is not going to work in this situation. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Control led to the the breaking apart of this foundation. And now there's forgiveness being wanted here. Yeah, Cancer, um, if you were dealing with an emperor, because like I said, you can be the emperor for some of you. Um, whoever was dealing with this emperor, this emperor wanted to control a situation because they've got some control issues. We've all got our own issues, guys. No shade. Um... They definitely have got some control issues, though, and it's out of insecurity or from some major past hurts of feeling very betrayed by others. Um, not trust, trust, not being able to trust, not being able to trust people's actions or words. They, this person's been really, really burned in the past. I'm not justifying. I'm just telling you where it comes from, okay? But now they're getting clarity about it, and it's like the truth is, oh, shit, yeah, that's right. I can't control people. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, like, not something I can do. That's not something that anybody should be trying to do. Um, and they're realizing that, and they're like, god damn it damn, why did I try to control that so much? Why was I trying to control that so hard? If I was, you know, it's like, it's like the, um, what's that theory? Is it like the loose hand? I forget the name of the theory, but it's like when you're gripping, 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 it's actually way easier for something to just kind of slip through your fingers versus like, you know, having a loose hand about something, letting the flow of energy happen naturally as things are supposed to happen, right? The more you try to control, the more the universe tries to do things to get you from not controlling it because it's not up to us, right? This emperor is realizing that. Female or male, biologically, doesn't matter. This emperor is realizing that and they're realizing that that led to the breaking apart of a foundation, whether the foundation is a family or it's a relationship or a business of some kind, but we are talking about relationships here of all kinds. Um, and now they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness. They realize what they did wrong and they're realizing why they're feeling so trapped. <sighs> Your girl's tired. <laughs> you guys are really taking it out of me. All right, guys. So honestly, it seems like it's going to be rough and it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's going to lead to, amaz to amazing stuff. There's a lot of realizations we just went over, right? Um, let's pull some advice from the spirit animal deck. I might even pull Moonology out considering we're in a really, really awesome month for moon cycles. I might. I might. Any advice for Cancers? Any advice for Cancers regarding this spread and the month of July? Month of July? Why did I say month of July? Oh, some of you, this might be dragged out for the entire month, okay? I don't know why I said that, but I think that's why. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? I'm just in it, guys. I'm just like super hyper focused. <laughs> Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Sorry, I'm being dragged into this. For those where you were dealing with that parental issue, specifically where you have the, the toxic 
feminine or toxic mother energy, they were the ones actually exhibiting control, not the emperor. They were exhibiting control over the emperor, okay? Over the father figure here, okay? All right, so let's get this further in. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Come on. Okay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, first card out is Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation <laughs> with the energy of six. Yeah. Not surprising because we are talking about family, people who are close to us. We're talking about a foundation that has been very damaged, very damaged by this controlling energy. And again, forgiveness is being practiced here, or at least forgiveness is being wanted by the person who is being overly controlling, okay? Um, but yeah, that's that's what the advice is, Cancer. Ground yourself, ground yourself. Ground yourself and build foundations on the right things, especially those who are reconciling here. Because some of you are reconciling, others you're just like, man, get away. Um, but for those who are reconciling or going on to build new things, build things the right way and build things on honesty and transparency, not control. Okay? That includes being honest with yourself, Cancer. Any advice for Cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for Cancers regarding this spread? Wow, that mom, that mother energy is very invasive. It's like she keeps invading my energy field, and I'm not liking it. I'm pushing her out. I can feel it. Like, okay, whoever has that aggressive mother, because I think it's definitely more than a couple of you. It's almost like I know it's gonna be hard to explain, but it's almost like the collective energy of those mothers like just came into my energy field, like intruding intruding they they're actually very upset that i'm talking about this well too bad too bad <laughs> too bad any advice for my cancers regarding this spread any advice for my cancers regarding this spread oh come on is that it is that it can't be it I love the beaver spirit. The beaver spirit's so awesome. It's actually very earthy, Cancer. So yeah, this is definitely about grounding yourself, okay? It's gonna be a rough time, but you're gonna go to, basically, you're gonna be in a better place. So just write it out. You'll be okay. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my Cancers? Oh, yes. <laughs> Regarding this spread, I love that card. You'll see. You'll see in a second. Oh, my God. Synchronicities, guys. Horse spirit, freedom is yours, Cancer. The energy of 33, which is a master number. Now, I said this before in a video. It might have been a Patreon video. With master numbers, you don't break them down further because they're a master number. But if you were to, this would be a six. With a six. And your overall advice... 51, another six, 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 six is not a devil energy. It's a very positive vibration. Okay. Very positive vibration. It's about harmony. Okay. It's about harmony. Uh, sandpiper spirit, be playful. Cancer, you're coming in some harsh, harsh truths here and some harsh realities, but again, it's going to put you in a place of, of being so much feeling lighter, feeling more healed, feeling happier, like truly happier. Um, not having to hide anything, not having to avoid anything. It's like freedom, right? Freedom. Enjoy this time as much as you can. Stay grounded. You gotta stay grounded, Cancer. Stay, excuse me, grounded as much as you can. Try to channel your inner Capricorn because it is your counterpart, your complement, your seventh house. We all got a little bit of our complement in us. I'm a Scorp. I got a little Taurus in me somewhere, right? Channel that inner Capricorn to stay grounded here and to also stay more level-headed. This is gonna be a time where it's gonna make your emotions like... You know, and I already felt in the heart chakra when I was already tapping into your energy. Stay as grounded as possible and you can have total freedom from all of this craziness once you gain that clarity and that truth that you need 
from the situation and from these people about these people and do have fun. It is your birthday season, Cancer. Do have fun in the process. It's okay to have fun. Even if the, even if the shit's hitting the fan, it's okay to have a little fun. <laughs> but stay grounded as much as possible because this is going to be a little rough, okay? All right, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's it was a little crazy. And I hope you guys have a really great birthday, okay? Um, have a great week and a great night. Namaste.